Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here back again with a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how WatchOS 6.2 has been on the Apple Watch Series 1. Before we get into today's video, if you happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from Ice Cool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 subscribers before Apple's WWDC 20 event in early June. Anyways, let's get right into the video. WatchOS 6.2 released about a week ago for the Apple Watch Series 1 through the Series 5. It brought in-app purchase support for Apple Watch apps, the ECG app, and irregular heart rhythm notifications to Apple Watch owners in Chile, New Zealand, and Turkey. This update also brought some bug fixes and extra optimizations. Before we get into general performance, I'd like to mention that anything I say regarding performance will also apply to the Apple Watch Series 2 as they share the same exact processor. With that said, let's see how the oldest Apple Watch handles the newest software. General performance on the Apple Watch Series 1 has been excellent on WatchOS 6.2. I've noticed a slight increase in speed when opening apps, but other than that, most tasks perform at about the same speed as WatchOS 6.1.3. However, WatchOS 6.1.3 was great in terms of speed on the Series 1. It even made my watch feel new. Animations are a little bit different this time around. All animations are as smooth as they previously were, however there are two areas that have improved noticeably. That is scrolling through all of your watch faces and forced touch. Scrolling through all of your watch faces would always be pretty laggy. This did improve over the past few updates, but this time it is improved dramatically. When scrolling through all of your watch faces, it lags for a short amount of time in the beginning but quickly recovers and starts scrolling smoothly. This I noticed right off the bat after installing WatchOS 6.2. I'm really glad this has been fixed, as for force touching, I noticed that the animation is a little faster and smoother when force touching on the home screen. There was some delay in WatchOS 6.1.3, but this seems to have been fixed. Battery life has also seen a massive increase. My Series 1's battery life has been absolutely incredible on WatchOS 6.2. Starting with 100% in the morning, by the end of the day with medium use, I'll still have around 80-83% to left. That's so close to being as good as it was on WatchOS 4 a couple of years ago. WatchOS 6.2 has had a noticeable positive impact on animations and a significant also positive impact on battery. Should you update? Well, if you're rocking WatchOS 6.1.3 or earlier, I definitely recommend updating. If you're on WatchOS 5 or earlier, I'd say that now is the time to update if you want to. Now if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or find it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out my Twitch where you can watch me live. Also check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.